a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew chapter 15 verses 21 to 28 At that time Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon and behold a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out have pity on me Lord son of David my daughter is tormented by a demon but he did not say a word in answer to her his disciples came and asked him send her away for she keeps calling out after us he said in reply i was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of israel but the woman came and did him homage saying lord help me he said in reply it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs she said please lord for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters then jesus said to her in reply o woman great is your faith let be done for you as you wish and her daughter was healed from that hour the gospel of the lord we live in a world of discrimination we see how nations economy and resources suffer discrimination most pitiful situation is that there is discrimination of human persons due to nationality tribe language culture and economic status jesus was preaching to all the nations during his ministry here on earth He did not discriminate anybody regardless of their tribe, culture or creed. He preached the good news of the kingdom of heaven extensively in the regions of Tyre and Sidon where he often visited. You should not get confused by the statement from Jesus that it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. Jesus did not actually want to demean the people of Tyre and Sidon. that they are inferior to the people of Israel but he wanted to critically test the faith of the woman he wanted to know if the woman really believed that he was the son of god if the woman did not have faith she would have retorted back and defended herself and her people she actually rose above that perceived insult by jesus and stuck to her faith and believed that jesus would heal her daughter This great faith by the woman prompted Jesus to grant her wish and her daughter was healed of the demon that had invaded her. God can use anything possible to test our faith in him. Jesus used the verbal insult on the woman and God used the sacrifice of Isaac to test the faith of Abraham and also used the devil to test the faith of his servant Job. So let us not always jump to the defense of our egos when challenged on the matters of spirituality. Our first and foremost responsibility is to come to the defense of God and our faith. Trouble strikes us one after another and until you see as if God has forsaken you. Maybe when this happens, God is testing your faith in him. If you cry under pressure, he will know that you suffer poor faith if you stand strong and say that may god be praised during good and bad times then you will be rewarded tenfold of what you may have lost and i pray may you be blessed in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen